I think I'm live, right? I think I'm live. I think. All right. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and I decided to do a live uh, stream for you guys. And the reason why is because I've been getting several, several comments with two of my videos that I pushed out a while back, around July. And it's all about uninstalling Windows 10 from Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. Now, the whole concept of is this, well, <laughs> the whole concept of uninstalling Windows 10 is because you're not happy, you're not satisfied, it doesn't work with your current uh, workstation. So, Microsoft was nice enough to give us a 30-day trial and allowing us to downgrade back to our old windows but the problem is a lot of you a lot of you having issues and the reason why you're having issues is because one you pushed out the operating system to your machine manually uh and that's the reason why you don't have the option or you're not logged in as a full administrative uh to your machine i noticed that once a person logs in as a full admin into their workstation or laptop, that's when the option appears. So you're probably saying to yourself, which option? So I'm going to show you guys. So within, I'm inside my Windows 10 machine. Again, I'm doing everything in a virtual environment. I'm actually using the, I'm using the latest build, which is actually 10.565. And if you go to the start and you go to settings, and within settings, you want to go inside the update and security. Now, if you had if you have this option and you go to recovery, you get go back to Windows 7 or go back to Windows 8.1. A lot of you guys don't have that option, so you're freaking out. And the reason why is, like I said earlier, uh, you don't have the option because you manually pushed it out and Windows was not ready for your machine. You have to wait. Two, you have to wait until Microsoft pushes out the advertisement saying, hey, you are ready to get the full Windows 10 image or upgrade to your machine. If not, you're going to have problems. A lot of people have problems with their graphics card, uh, screens or monitors flickering. So how in the hell can you get back to your old operating system? Okay, If you don't have this option... Or you, if you go inside the File Explorer within uh, Windows 10. So I'm going inside the File Explorer. And for this option right here to work properly, you have to have this folder. This entire folder is your old operating system. But a lot of people don't have that option. So how do you get your old operating system? And is this... I hate to tell you this, guys, but you're not going to like the answer. So Microsoft knows the pain that you guys are having. So there's this site that you could go to and you're able to download a Windows 8.1 or a Windows 7 ISO to burn it into a flash drive or into a DVD. So you can boot into it, install your operating system. Now install, reinstall. Basically that means that you're going to have to wipe clean your machine and reinstall the operating system back. That means you have to find all your drivers for that particular model that you're using if you're using a Dell you got to go into you got to go inside the Dell site and locate the model number and download the network drivers the hard drive drivers the monitor drivers all those drivers to get your machine up and running now some of you are lucky you probably have a recovery disk that came with your purchase of the machine it probably came with Windows 8.1 or it came with Windows 7 I would just say pop that in and just restore your machine but before you even wipe and reformat and reinstall the operating system back to its current state Please back up your information. When you're reinstalling the operating system, you guys are completely wiping it clean. You're reformatting the hard drive. Now, let's say I want to go back to Windows 7 because the machine that I'm in now, I actually upgraded to Windows 7 to Windows 10 86-bit. So I'm going to click on this. And there's another catch. The catch is you have to have a serial number. So... The only way you guys can get an ISO from Microsoft is if you enter your product key. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, how in the hell can I find the product key? No worries. Some of you are kind of lucky. If you flip your laptop or you look at the top of your workstation, you're probably going to see a nice little Microsoft Windows label indicating the 25 characters. Enter those 25 characters, verify it, and if everything goes well, you should be able to download that ISO and get yourself started. Now, if you don't have that 25 char character key, 
Ah, the next thing is try to contact a Microsoft rep and see if they're able to verify that you have a legit copy of Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 so you could downgrade them. Talk to them. Microsoft is willing to help you out to a certain extent. Now, once you get the ISO, again, <laughs> Microsoft was nice enough to provide us a USB slash DVD download tool. Just download this. Follow the commands. It's pretty easy. Uh, what, what's It's a standalone application that you launch up. You're going to locate the ISO. You're going to click on next. Click on next again. I already know it by heart because I did it several times. Uh, insert your flash drive or your DVD into your CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. And it's going to scan for those two things. Wherever it's available, it's going to pick it up. You hit next, finish, and it's going to burn that ISO into the DVD or the USB. And it creates a bootable device once you have that shut down your machine uh, plug in the flash drive and it depends on what machine you're using I think F10 or F2 or F12 will bring you the boot menu and you just prick the USB uh, if it's a CD-ROM you have to go inside the BIOS settings and configure it to boot from DVD you probably might get lucky and just uh, slap the USB or the DVD while you're inside the Windows 10 operating system and just launch Windows 7 and just do it that way. Now, I have the ISO already. I'm gonna close all this. Just close it. I'm gonna close all this window because let's say I don't have I don't have that folder. I don't have this folder. And I think it disappeared on me. It's still there. So let's say I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna go shift delete. I'm just gonna delete this entire folder. Hit continue. Just delete it. Just delete it. I don't need it. Right. So that, that folder is completely done. I'm not able to use that built-in feature that Microsoft provided me. So that means I'm kind of screwed. The only way for me to get back to my Windows 7 is I have to reinstall everything again. But before you do that, I would say back up your information. Now, it's not going to do it because it's a system file. So I'm just going to cancel it. There's a couple of sections that you guys need to pay attention. One, go inside your user folder. Locate the user profile that you logged in. Uh, back up everything inside your desktop, because most likely you guys have stuff in your desktop. Back everything inside your documents folder. Back everything up in your downloads folder, because you probably have drivers or applications that you downloaded in the past, and you want to you don't want to drive yourself crazy and reinstall that stuff again, or download it again and reinstall it. So, back up those three folders. Uh, if you have iTunes or any music libraries, download your music. If you have favorites, download your favorites folder. If you have pictures that you downloaded in the past through your phone or whatever, download these folders. You know, just go inside, just go inside, control A, do a control A, select them, copy and paste them into an external hard drive, okay? Or to a flash drive that's big enough to hold all your information. So once you have all that stuff backed up, it's time to wipe clean it. Now, again, like I said, I already have the Windows. I'm going to start my File Explorer. And within my File Explorer, I already have the Windows um, 7 professional CD in it. So let me. I, I haven't tried this yet. I haven't tried booting the Windows 7 uh, installation files within the Windows 10. So let's see what happens. So let's double click on that. Let's launch the setup. Again, my machine is going to add a little slow because I'm running... Uh, low specs. I think I'm running a one gig with one processor. Uh, I started with one gig, one processor. So right now I'm saying check. I'm going to say install now. And I want to see what happens. It's probably going to give me an error stating that I'm not able to do it. Uh, right now it's set up as copying temporary files. That's always a good thing, but there's a possibility it might not work. And the reason why is because Windows 10 is higher than Windows 10. I mean, Windows 10 is higher than Windows 7. Uh, but I'm crossing my fingers it gives me the option to do a custom installation. If it does give me a custom installation, it probably it's probably going to error out because I need to boot inside the ISO or inside the DVD or inside or inside the USB drive to actually reformat everything. So I want to see what happens. So we're going to let this happen. It takes a while. Again, I do apologize for the slowness of my virtual machine uh, because I didn't really give it too many I didn't give it too much RAM. I didn't give it too many process. I didn't give it too much processing speed. Uh, I only gave it one one, which was the standard. Uh, but I'm hoping it works. Uh, there it goes. So this is what you're gonna get. I'm gonna say no. Forget about it. Accept next. 
Uh, so we got the upgrade. Now, upgrade to a newer version. You can't... I don't think this is going to work. I want to see what happens. Let's see what happens if I click on upgrade. So right now, it's going to check. I know it's going to fail. Just tell me. There it goes. Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview cannot upgrade to Windows 10. Duh, right? I knew that's going to happen. But I just wanted to see what would happen, okay? I want to show you guys what's going to happen before you even try it. So let's go to Custom Advanced. So as you can see, Custom Advanced, this is the primary. Uh, the primary is the C drive. This is the one that I want to install everything in. So let's click on Next and see what happens. The partition that you selected must contain files from a previous web Windows installation. It does not. Uh, these files and folders will be moved to a folder named windows.old. You will be able to access the information in the windows.old. Uh, you will not be able to use your per, uh, previous version of Windows. Okay, so let's press OK. Oh, so it looks like it's installing. Awesome. So that means I didn't have to boot inside the CD or DVD or USB to start the installation. So once this process is done, again, guys, I just want to give you guys a heads up. Please make sure you back up your stuff because this right here uh, is going to wipe clean. Actually, it's not going to wipe clean. Let me correct myself because it looks like it's going to create a Windows.old folder of your Windows 10. But take the proactive approach and back up your files. Back up all those files that I told you, your desktop, your documents folder, your music folder, your photos, your downloads folder. Download all that stuff. While that stuff is reinstalling, while your old operating system is reinstalling, I kind of tell you guys, uh, find another machine and start finding all the drivers. Uh, if you have a, a graphics processor, see if you could get the, the latest and greatest Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, whichever operating system you guys are downgrading to, find the drivers for that. Uh, make sure you have the latest drivers for your network, your Wi-Fi. That's it's a, it, This consists of a lot of work. And it kind of sucks that Microsoft did not uh, give this option to everyone. And a lot of people have been complaining and been commenting uh, at both of those videos. And uh, I, I do apologize. It really sucks that you guys can't downgrade. Uh, and it got to the point that a lot of people didn't know about the 30-day trial. And... It kind of passed and the option just basically disappeared and that sucked a lot and that's it guys so I'm just gonna let this run uh, I'm not gonna leave it run while we're live streaming because it's pretty simple it's just gonna reinstall the Windows 7 and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this hands-on actually live streaming you guys and I'm hoping to answer all your questions again guys I do apologize if you do not have that Go back to Windows 7 or go back to Windows 8.1 option. It kind of sucks that you guys don't have it. And it sucks for those individuals that don't have Windows, uh, the Windows.o folder. Now, before I let you guys go, for those individuals that purchased a Windows 10 machine and you're not happy with the Windows 10 operating system and you want to downgrade to Windows 7, Windows 8.1, you have to purchase a Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 license key for this to work. Okay, uh, the only way that you could downgrade is if you already had Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 installed inside your machine and you did the upgrade and you cross your fingers, you had that Windows.o folder and Microsoft was nice enough to give you that downgrade option within the recovery, you should be good. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below and I'll catch you guys on the next live stream. Peace out.